I'm going to do a Wi-Fi 7 speed test between the new Pixel 9 Pro XL and the OnePlus 12. Both of these are Wi-Fi 7 capable devices. I am running the Netgear Orbi 970, which is a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system, and my internet speeds are 5 gigabits per second upload and download. Now I'm going to show you guys, they're both connected to the same network, so we got Earth right here. Earth, as you guys could see, Earth, Earth. So basically, that's the main network that I test with. Now these phones are not optimally placed, but they're close enough that we should be getting pretty good speeds. Now during a router test, I would place them in a better spot to get better speeds uh, if I'm trying to maximize to get the best possible speeds. But for the sake of the video, they are next to each other. So we're gonna do a speed test difference between, again, both of these are Wi-Fi 7 devices. Now I wanna show you guys that the Pixel 9 Pro XL, just like the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro, which were also Wi-Fi 7 devices, couldn't quite get to those crazy fast um, Wi-Fi 7 speeds. So I got three down, 1.6 up, it connected to Frontier. Now the server does make a difference. Um, so this one also connected to Frontier, which is fantastic that they're both connected to the same network. And again, so the Pixel 9 Pro XL is a fantastic phone, hands down fantastic. Um, and in a lot of ways, it's actually better than the OnePlus 12. But in terms of Wi-Fi 7, uh, just like the Pixel 8 and the 8 Pro, for some reason, um, maybe can't handle the channel width, uh, maybe MLO is not ready for it. I don't know what the reason exactly is, um, but I can't, like the fastest speed that I saw, I've been playing with this phone, was 2.1 gigabits per second download. I, I didn't see anything faster than that. Whereas with the OnePlus 12, I've, I've seen much, much faster than that. Um, depending on which mesh system I'm using, depending if I'm optimally placed or not, I've actually seen this thing go close to four, if not over four at one point. Uh, but consistently, this thing could get to three and over three consistently, whereas this one cannot. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. Um, so if you guys get a mesh system, you get a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system, which has a lot of advantages even if you don't have Wi-Fi 7 devices. Um, but for some reason, unless there's a firmware update coming, unless there's some setting I need to set, but with the other phones, there's nothing I really needed to do. I would still get these crazy fast speeds.